Hello and welcome. Last session, we focused on what to do when you slip. This session, we will show you how to jumpstart your exercise plan. This will help you work towards the two goals of this program, which are to lose 5% of your starting weight and exercise for at least 150 minutes per week. Before we start, have you been keeping track of your weight, nutrition and exercise? Did you exercise for 150 minutes over the past week? Did you analyze a slip you have had and come up with ways to prevent it? If you had trouble, don't let it get you down, as long as you are following the program more often than not. Even if you have been good about exercising, there may be times when you are tired of it. To keep yourself motivated, we are going to cover some more exercises you can do to give yourself an active lifestyle for the rest of your life. Through these exercises we introduce today, you can increase the intensity of the exercises. Burning 150 calories in 15 to 30 minutes through such exercises is the next step from the initial moderate activity like brisk walking. One important thing is to add variety. For example, if you usually walk, try a new exercise like riding a bike or swimming. You can alternate exercises on weekdays and weekends, depending on how much time you have. Another thing is to make it fun. While exercising, listen to music, watch a movie, or listen to a book on tape, or look for active events such as a jogging club or a group bike ride. If you are out of town, Plan a walk around the place you're visiting and do some sightseeing. It is also very important that your exercises be blended into your life as much as possible. Get your family and friends to exercise with you and help you to maintain a healthy weight. You can try a friendly competition to spur you on, like a bet where the winner gets treated to a healthy dinner. You can also make exercise a social activity by going to a community center, gym, or swimming complex. You can make a few friends who are also looking to control their weight and who will support you in your lifestyle change. Remember FITT? One of the categories in FIT is type, which refers to the kind of exercise you do. So far, you have been doing cardio exercise in the form of brisk walking. In addition to aerobic exercises such as brisk walking, Healthcare providers recommend that all adults also do resistance training, which is another type of exercise. Resistance training increases the amount of lean muscle mass that you have. And muscle burns calories faster than fat burns calories during your daily activities, even when you're at rest. In fact, depending on how hard you exercise, Muscle even burns calories for a short time after you stop exercising. Resistance training is typically done with free weights or weight machines. You can use the weight of your own body as resistance as you do when performing calisthenic exercises like push-ups and sit-ups. Or you can use light weights or exercise bands. If you are taking resistance training seriously, consider going to a gym. There are professional trainers there who can show you how to use the equipment and to make sure that you don't injure yourself. You can focus on your torso on one day and your lower body on another. Be sure to take a day off in between to give your body time to recover. If you are a beginner, you can start by going two to three times a week with a rest day in between each visit. You should focus on compound movements which are exercises that involve multiple muscles and joints, like squats, lunges, overhead presses, push-ups and rowing. Don't worry about how you look. Everyone is at the gym to get in shape and be healthy. In fact, seeing someone making an effort to get in shape can motivate others and make them think, if they can do it, so can I. Since gyms are open most of the day, you should be able to find a time that suits you be it in the morning before work, during your lunch break, or after work in the evening or at night. If you are self-conscious, consider going to the gym at off-peak times such as early morning or late at night when there may be less people there. Remember, 
All of you are there to exercise, so don't worry about people paying attention to you. As you exercise more frequently, you'll become more confident and your self-consciousness will disappear. If you are really self-conscious or can't go to a gym for social or religious reasons, look for an at-home exercise solution. Or if you are a female, go to an all-female gym. Here are five tips to help you in the gym. Maintain control over the weight in your body at all times. If you can't maintain your form, decrease the amount of weight or the number of repetitions. Be aware of your breathing. Exhale as you lift and inhale as you release. Your muscles should strain but should not feel pain. You will probably feel sore for a few days after starting. That is normal. If you feel pain, stop immediately. Like with your nutrition and aerobic exercise, be consistent in when and how you work out. Working out three days a week for 20 to 30 minutes each time will increase your strength and gradually build muscle. Be sure to cool down and stretch for 5 to 10 minutes before you're done. As you did with aerobic exercise, start your resistance training at a graduated pace. If you haven't done resistance training before and you push yourself too hard, you can injure your joints and muscles. So start with light weights and develop a good form. To start, perform each action 10 to 12 times. The weight you use should be heavy enough that the last 3 to 4 repetitions should present some difficulty. As your body gets used to resistance training, you can steadily increase the count one at a time from 10 to 11 and 11 to 12. When you can do 12, increase the weight you're using by one kilogram and restart the count with eight, working your way up to 12 again. When you lift the weight, count one, and when you lower it, count two and three. Stop when you find yourself struggling to maintain good form. For your warm-up, exercise with very light weights, progressing towards your working weight. For example, if your working weight is 10 kilograms, warm up with 2 kilograms, then 5 kilograms, then 10 kilogram weights. The heavier the working weight you want to lift, the more repetitions you should do in the warm up. When working out, it is essential to have good form so that you keep your back stable and don't strain it. A neutral spine posture will help to ensure that you are lifting weights as safely as possible. You should check with a qualified physiotherapist or strength and conditioning specialist at a gym on how to practice good form when lifting weights. The biggest enemies to maintaining a long-term exercise plan are excuses. Most of us have looked for excuses, especially to avoid exercise. Have you said, I don't have time to exercise? Exercise can be an obstacle, but your new lifestyle requires you to exercise so you need to integrate it into your life as much as possible. Let's look at Miss Lee. She has made an effort to incorporate activity and exercise into her day. At the office, instead of taking the lift, she takes the stairs. She frequently gets up from a desk to get tea or talk with colleagues rather than email or phone them. She also takes small breaks and walks around the office so that she keeps her body moving. If she has 10 minutes to spare during lunch, she goes for a quick walk around her building. After work, instead of taking the bus home, she walks. In the evening, she doesn't sit on the sofa and watch TV. She goes for a walk, watches fitness videos, and engages in light tasks around the house. If her favorite program is on TV, she doesn't make excuses. Instead, she watches the program and exercises at the same time. This sort of behavior breaks up the amount of time she is sedentary, which lowers her risk of getting diabetes and its associated diseases. Another common excuse is, I'm too tired to exercise. Ironically, that may be because you aren't exercising enough. Exercise can make you feel more energetic and fatigue felt before exercise is more often mental than physical. 
Exercise is also a great way to relieve stress and reduce fatigue. If you feel tired once you're home, start exercising immediately rather than sitting down. Don't sit down for five minutes because it is very likely that you will sit down for more than five minutes and have a hard time getting up for exercise. Instead, tell yourself you will exercise for 10 minutes and then sit down. You may find that once you are doing it, you will continue for longer than you originally planned. Many people find it a good idea to exercise in the morning so that it's done before they get distracted with other things that may come up during the day. You can also motivate yourself using affirmations that you have written and posted on the fridge. If you're older, you may think I'm too old to exercise or my arthritis stops me from exercising. The fact of the matter is that you're never too old to exercise and that you should make an effort to exercise as you get older because exercise can delay age-related conditions like heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, and bone loss. If you feel you can't use weights, consider light-resistant exercise that use elastic bands for resistance training. These can be used to improve your arm strength without weights. If you have arthritis or joint pain, exercise is beneficial because it develops muscular strength and endurance and improves joint mobility. Instead of exercises that are hard on your joints, exercise in the water, which takes some of your body's weight off your joints. Swim laps or try aqua aerobics. If you have knee pain, you can try a stationary bicycle, which can take pressure off your knees. Other exercises such as yoga can increase your flexibility when practiced properly, while Tai Chi can improve your balance. However, note that yoga and Tai Chi do not burn calories as quickly as exercises such as brisk walking, swimming or cycling. If you have physical ailments, a sports physician or personal trainer may be able to offer more personalized recommendations on the best exercises that you can do. This brings us to the end of this session. For the next session, be aware of what you're eating and drinking. Keep track of it. Use my healthy plate as a model. Exercise for at least 150 minutes over the next week and keep track of it. Try resistance training at least once a week. Next session, we are going to look at how to be healthy while on vacation or away from home. Good luck with your tasks. Remember that they are within your control, so reassure yourself that you can complete them and be successful in this program.